Hello, or Wednesday the 31st of March, the last day of the month, and our opening prayer. Loving Lord, we are aware of our human shortcomings. We ask that by your Holy Spirit, you give us strength to work for that which is good, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Today's readings come from John chapter 13, verses 21 to 30, and Isaiah chapter 50, verses 4 to 9a. It's often said that the most bitter breakdown in relationships happen when friends who have been very close to each other fall out. An example of this is taking place in Scotland at present with the very public argument between Alex Salmon and Nicola Sturgeon. Accusation and counter accusation are flying around all over the place. Any trust and respect which existed between them disappeared a long time ago and, in different ways, both claim to be hurt and betrayed by the other. Who knows where this is all going to end? However, what's happening between the two of them is a mere spat compared with the betrayal which is part of the Holy Week story. Yesterday, we were reminded that Jesus is troubled in spirit, and it crops up again today. And why? Because he knows that one of the disciples, that's close in a circle of friends who've traveled with him from the start of his ministry, is going to betray him. Jesus was fully human, with a full range of human emotions, so no doubt he felt let down. Jesus knows it's Judas. His words and actions in today's reading tell us that Jesus knew that. He knows also that Jesus is motivated by selfish gain. He was the treasurer for the disciples, but in that role, he was also stealing some of their money. Judas's heart has hardened against God, although it's not actually clear when or why that happened. But we know that it had happened some time previously because of his wanting the money that Mary had used for the oil and perfume with which she anointed Jesus. Judas's behaviour and motivation is in stark contrast to that of Jesus's selfless nature. Just prior to today's reading from John is the account of Jesus washing his disciples' feet a sign of his humility and servant nature. Jesus does exactly what God desires, which should come as no surprise because he is God. He suffers on behalf of others. There's no picking and choosing who he's prepared to suffer for. It's for all humanity. As it prophesies in today's reading from Isaiah, I offered my back to those who beat me, and I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. I think that accurately describes some of the actions against Jesus following his arrest. And let's not forget, Jesus was of course completely innocent. We now come to a prayer linked to our readings. 
all-knowing Lord. You know the darkness and motivation at the centre of Judas's heart and how he was acting for personal gain. We ask your forgiveness for those times when our actions have not been based on pure motives, but we have been looking to further our own aims. Amen. We now come to today's prayer points. Let's pray for the innocent victims of injustice and the lives of others. Let's pray for all leaders that they act in the best interest of others. And let's give thanks for friendships which have lasted the test of time over the years. We now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen we now come to today's blessing the father who created light out of darkness the Son, who is the light of the world, the Holy Spirit, who enlightens everyone. May the Holy Trinity scatter the darkness from in you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you today and evermore. Amen.